All right, here we go. Next up is going to be a 9mm test. This one is the Winchester USA Ready Defense. That is 124 grain plus P. This one looks like it does have that plastic polymer tip in it also. Pretty good looking round. And we're going to be going through the jugs. We got five lined up with four layers of cotton t-shirts. We will be shooting this out of a four inch barrel. So uh, we're going to put a few over the chronograph, see what kind of numbers we get, and then send it through these jugs. Here we go. All right, let's see what kind of numbers we can get on this one. First shot, 1276. Second shot, 1199. And third shot, 1264. So it was kind of a big spread, but uh, that is some pretty hot stuff right there. And last time I tested it was the same way. So let's see. Got a low of 11.99. Got a high of 12.76. And our average on that was 12.47. So that's moving out pretty good for 124 grain and 9 millimeter. So we'll put uh, energy foot pounds up like always. And we're going to send it through the jugs. Let's see what this thing can do. All right, we are stepping back to 15 feet. Let's see how we did on that one. So we do have our cotton t-shirts right in front of the table. Super dirty, of course. So it looks like our entry hole. And we do have our exit. So that is our four layers. And I believe this one right here is our first jug. So it looks like we got a decently centered shot just left of that circle, but still pretty good. And we blew that whole thing out. Check that out. We got splits all over the place. It's a lot of damage coming through. A lot of energy. You got a split back here. And it looks like there is our exit. So not too bad. That is jug number one. Then we got jug number two. Same thing. Just left of that circle. And split that whole thing in half pretty much. Big old split on the front. And no splits on the back, but we do have an exit. So there's our exit on number two. Then we got jug number three. Actually sounds like it's rolling around in there. And it looks like we came in right on the bottom of that circle. And no exit. So we're going to pull that thing out and see what it looks like. All right, check that thing out. Once again, we got some awesome expansion. I did just test the 40 and same thing. We got some really good results. Um, I have tested this one in the past uh, with the no layers on the front of the jug, so just bare jugs, and it ripped this thing all apart. But it looks like it held together pretty darn good with this uh, four layers of cotton t-shirt on there. That thing does have eight pedals, so it's two more than your normal all the points but we got some perfect uniform expansion on that thing i'm actually very impressed and the velocities on those are pretty high too but that is looking really good super good looking hollow point but as always we'll put still shots here at the end just so you guys can get a closer look at that thing but that was 9mm, 124 grain, USA, ready to fence. That is a plus P of the Smith & Wesson SD9VE. There we go.